question. In terms of breakage, is wash and go styling two to three times a week better than twist outs? And the short answer is, I don't know. Why? Because your hair texture determines how many days you get out of a wash and go, and your hair texture determines how you prep your hair for a protective style. Um, and both are very loaded terms, right? So if you're somewhere around the fours to the threes, then wash and go styling, particularly for the fours, um, should be done frequently. And if you are going to not want to do your hair frequently, then wash and go styling for fours can become damaging. The looser your hair texture is, threes, twos, the longer, the more days you get out of a wash and go style. The tighter and drier your hair texture is in the fours, then wash and go styling can become damaging if not done every day. Um, every other day at the most, uh, I hesitate to say that because also, do y'all know that this is not the first natural hair movement and the last one was back in the 70s? Um, I digress. Um, so I say all that to say, remember Jerry Curls? That was after the natural hair movement. Um, I use the metaphor of jerry curls for women who are now naturally doing these whole wash and go things. Let me explain to you a wash and go versus who can remember jerry curls. Not doing a wash and go frequently um, is like getting a jerry curl and refusing to use curl activator. You get that? So if your wash and go style and you're a four, as done every other, every two days, every three days, and you're somewhere in the fours, then all you're doing is walking around with dried out hair, which is damaging. Wash and go styling is only beneficial if you're doing them frequently. Um, in terms of twist outs, if you're, if you're somewhere around a four, and I always start at the fours and work my way backwards to one straight. Um, if you're a four, then you're not gonna start any of your twist outs on wet, kinky hair. Your hair will dry out, tangle, and shed at the end of the five to 10 days that you get out of a protective style, be it a twist out, a braid out, a halo braid, or any of those things. So you have to prep your hair differently than the chick who has, say, a three texture, who's looser, who can afford to do all of her twist outs on wet hair. Um, you have to prep your hair differently. Your hair is much tighter, it's much drier. So that's where leave-in conditioner, like Hair Rules Nourishment Leave-In Moisturizer, all your favorite oils are then used in your hair in, uh, in, in, in large amounts, liberal amount, and then you blow dry all that conditioner and oil into the hair with the comb attachment and a blow dryer. Then you start your twist out like your girlfriend with a three. Um, that way you don't get any dryness and shedding and you get more definition in your styles at the end of your three to four um, days or five days that you get out of, a, out of a protective style. You have the choice to either do wash and go styling frequently, and if you don't want to do them frequently, don't try to get a week out of it. If you don't want to do it frequently, move into a protective style and protect your hair and put the work in um, that you get three to five to 10 days out of a style without having to wet your hair. So if you choose or chose to do a Washington style. I hope this helps.